Now, in many of my videos, I have said that the Indian biotech industry is, if the biotech industry of US is in 2023, the Indian biotech industry is in 1950s. Now, that's, that's a gap, 70 years gap in terms of advancement, in terms of uh, the progress. And the number of startups also, US has 3000 plus startups, while India has around 500 plus startups. So obviously, there is a huge gap. But uh, we can comfortably say that Indian biotech sector is adopted child of the US biotech industry. Now, having said that, it's very important for all of you to know what's trending in the last three weeks in the biotech sector. And this these developments in the last three weeks is going to change the direction of your career in the future. And of course, you should be aware of it. Now, one caution to all of you is these trends may not convert into traditions. However, we are seeing some very solid developments in the biotech industry, which you guys should be aware of. Now, uh, the first one which I would like to uh, highlight here is we are seeing a lot of drug discovery and biopharmaceutical jobs where PhDs and experienced postdocs are being hired. And uh, this kind of jobs has even got consolidation after the funding which Bugworks got uh, in the beginning of uh, this month. And of course, just yesterday, the news has come that Viprajan, which is a Mysore-based company, has got funding from Karnataka government through the Kitwin initiative. Now, what exactly uh, this entails for all of you is, you're going to see a lot of drug discovery using bioinformatics and uh, more such bioinformatics tools in the near future. So if you are a aspiring job seeker or a um, you know, you're still studying in your bachelor's or master's, start studying bioinformatics and applications of bioinformatics and drug discovery because Indian biotech founders and entrepreneurs are doing more research into this. They are playing the gamble and they are going to hire. And given that now they are getting funding, they are definitely going to hire at a higher salary. So drug discovery and development is one hot cake right now in the last three weeks and you can definitely bank upon. I can comfortably say that uh, this is going to be a tradition in the future. Drug de development and discovery is never, never going to go out of fashion as long as humanity exists, right? So that's the first one. Now the second one, second development which I am seeing uh, off late is a lot of projects, government-based projects, because uh, now these things are, cannot be done in private because it's very costly. So government-based projects are coming in a technique called as CRISPR. Well, you know CRISPR, right? We've done so many uh, workshops and in, uh, internships and conferences on CRISPR. So yeah, CRISPR is trending right now in all the government projects and easily the uh, project investigators are getting funding for this. And that means if you are looking to make, now if you're someone who wants to learn CRISPR, get a hands-on and get a job in US in CRISPR gene editing, of course, CRISPR gene editing is a hot cake in US. So you can definitely comfortably start with a maybe a certification course or internship in CRISPR, then get into these government projects, gain hands-on experience, gain experience, and then write a SOP letter of purpose, a statement of purpose to the foreign uh, universities saying that you have experience of CRISPR and you can easily get absorbed into CRISPR projects and CRISPR-based PhDs and postdocs in the US and Europe. So that's the second trend which uh, I'm observing. Now, the third trend is like it's going to be an evergreen trend and that is bioinformatics, proteomics, data science, big data, biology. All this is going to in last three weeks. We saw a lot of jobs getting posted on biotechnica, on bioinformatics, uh, data analysis, artificial intelligence in biology. So if you are someone who has got an inclination towards virtual side of biology and you love computers, I think this is the place to be in. Bioinformatics presents a plethora of opportunities for all of you. It's an ever-growing field and I can comfortably say again that this is going to be a tradition of future. You can bank up on that. In fact, all the three which I just told you are never going to go out of fashion. Probably CRISPR will have a d better technique in the future. But yeah, for now, for the next 10-15 years, I don't foresee that happening. So yeah, that's uh, th these are the three trends I'm seeing. Now the fourth trend is actually a US trend which will get adopted in India, it's personalized medicine. Now, personalized medicine has got a lot of benefits. In fact, I'm going to make a separate video on this. Just to give you an example, I was just studying a research paper where they have said that, you know, uh, when you do drug testing on an animal, so the toxicity studies comes out, okay, all green, you can proceed for the uh, human testing. But when you test the same drug in humans, it becomes toxic. So basically, 
Uh, what's happening here is you have a situation where annuals cannot be used as a uh, testing guinea pig, right? So you have to really have arrogant organoids and stuff. The similar way, now the industry is waking up to a situation where they want to go into personalized medicine. Initially, pharma companies were not interested because they thought personalized medicine is an enemy to the generic medicine, the broad spectrum by antibiotics, broad spectrum drugs. But later on, off late, they're realizing that diseases such as cancer, such as, uh, you know, uh, various other genetic diseases, you cannot have uh, a broad spectrum drug, you need to have personalized medicine. So this is one trend, which is yet to come in India, but definitely it is going to come. So you can always explore this field also the next one which i am uh, seeing is a lot of health tech and biomedical devices which is coming in so if you are someone who is fascinated with the apple watch and how it you know detects the heart rate and bp and diabetes and um, you know blood sugar levels so all that so biomedical engineering biomedical sciences is one very important uh, trend which is which we are seeing additionally i saw one um, trend which is neurodegenerative disorders and rare diseases this is something which is hot topic across the globe not just in india so where rare diseases and neurodegenerative disorders so you can always get into these research so i think i told you four to five trends which is happening in the last uh, three weeks in the biotech sector we saw a lot of funding also coming in so my advice to all of you at this juncture would be keep exploring keep learning keep finding the subject and the fields which interest you which you feel you should be making a future in and one last point is you will not get success in one go you just play and you will win nobody said that it's not happening you have to keep trying 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 let me give you example you play a lot of carom board right so carom board if you just hit for the first time can the striker hit the queen no there are very less chances but in real life you are trying to target the queen in first one go that cannot happen just like the carom board your life also has a lot of moving parts so you have to choose the one which interests you the most and make that as your profession make that as your area of research and you will see success coming but again to hit the queen you need to have a lot of experience and that's when you will become the Viprajan of future or the bug works of the future or the most sought after professional of the future so with these thoughts i would like to end this video thank you so much and see you soon in the next one next week or maybe next month we'll come up with newer trends. Uh, and if you have any questions or comments, put them down in the comment section. Keep yourself updated with Biotechnica and we'll keep coming with new videos. Take care. Bye-bye.